Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Guess who just got called into work on an alarm? I did. I thought it'd be great to kind of tell you some of the stuff that happens. Uh, it's resolved, by the way. I'm not doing this while my plant's in alarm state. Um, it was actually a very simple fix, but simple for me because I understand how my collection system works and I understand how my wastewater treatment plant works. Some of these alarms are resolved in time with experience. So if you're unfamiliar with wastewater treatment plants and how they work, this will be an interesting glimpse into the after hours response that one might need to have. Um, mine is not a 24 hour a day plant in terms of staffing. It runs 24 seven, but, um, we don't have somebody here 24 seven. So I was on call. I was having breakfast with my family and the phone rang. Um, and it was the alarm company saying an alarm float in the plant had triggered right about that time. I got the SCADA alarm that I had a high level alarm in one of my lift stations. And while I was on the phone with the alarm company in the background, an operator picked up uh, another phone call and leaned over to the operator I was talking to, the, the phone operator, and told her that um, there was a sewer spill happening in town. So I was like, great, <laughs> this is a genuine emergency. I have to go in. Okay, so higher level test takers, you're going to be given scenarios like this. Not this particular scenario, but th they want to make sure that you can zoom out and look at the entire organism, that you're not going to get hyper-focused on one particular part of the plant. So um, my first step was to um take a breath and think like okay sewer spill reported um i've gotten sewers i've gotten phantom sewer spills in the past i don't know how bad it is um phantom being somebody called it in and nothing was happening i couldn't find what they were looking at and that that happens okay so um but also it could very well be bad i don't know i don't know yet i i live i don't live in town i live out of town so I, I'm, I'm gonna have to drive in number two Let's look at SCADA. Okay, SCADA behind me. Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. You need to know about that for your test. This is my. This is the human machine interface. This is what I talks to SCADA and talks to me. Okay, the screen behind me. So I was looking at my influent lift station, all the wet wells throughout the um, the plant, and the only one that was in trouble was my influent lift station. It was backing up for some reason. So um, unfortunately, I have my primary clarifier offline for a repair right now. So my influent flow meter wasn't telling me anything, it was, it's off. I have the flow going to a different part of the plant that doesn't have a flow meter on it. So now I have to look at my effluent flow. First step, are my pumps pumping? And they were, I was ripping water. So my influent lift station pumps were not keeping up with flow. My effluent flow meter was ripping. So I was like, okay, pumps are working. Um, and I could see through the other lift stations how hard those pumps were working that they were getting flow from the influent pumps. Okay, so my pumps work, that means I'm getting inundated somewhere. Next step check the collection system that I can see. I can't see the gravity, but I can see my lift stations out there. Um, I only have one, everything's gravity in my town except one. I only have one lift station, thank God. And so I went and looked at it and it was quiet as a mouse. Neither pump was running, level was low, not low in a bad way, but just there was no need for it to turn on. Um, it had satisfied, trend looked fine. It didn't look like it was cycling too much. Um, so I said, okay, let me look at my water tank. Maybe a main line broke and it's finding its way into the sewer system somehow. Um, maybe that would explain that sewer leak somebody was saying out in town. And so I look at my trends on my water tank, which I can see on the same SCADA screen. Um, trends look good. Nothing looked like it was an over the top um, drop on the trend. Nothing looked out of the ordinary, okay? Um, now, in my past, I have deployed the cavalry at this point. Vector's coming out. There's gotta be an obstruction somewhere. We're spilling. But I, that, I've done that before, and it's bit me in the hindquarters because, uh, you know, we all showed up with the cavalry, and it was like a wet spot on the ground. You know, it's like, okay, we didn't have to do anything here. Um, but so I thought about it and said, you know, I know my collection system enough. Um, it's unusual that the gravity system would be doing this to me because that would mean one of the hotels or something's got like 30 toilets stuck open. It just does, it, it didn't make any sense. So zoom out a little bit. We take wastewater from other utilities that don't have a plant. So they pay us to treat their wastewater. So I start calling operations managers. Hey, I, this is my situation. Please check your pumping stations. Uh, the last pumping station that they have, make sure you don't have um, something stuck. Um, and there's one particular lift station that I had in mind that I thought it was, and it turned out to be, their pumps are bigger than our pumps. So that's a design issue that when their pumps go full speed, our pumps, cannot keep up with their pump flow and all the flow from town. Okay, it just, it, it's just one of those things. 
what had happened was, in the end, they called me back after doing a quick check. They said, we were flooding you. We are sorry. Um, their PLC fried, which if you don't know what that is, uh, that is the brain, in essence, of the SCADA system. It's where the program lives. And um, it fried. And for whatever reason, their backup float system uh, was not functioning. And so their pumps just stayed on. There was no off float that told the pump to stop. And both pumps were going uh, full speed and it just, it overwhelmed. Now I went out in the collection system. So I call them, I said, turn that thing off. They did um, almost instantaneously. The level starts dropping in my influent lift station. So, okay, that's what it was. Now the question I have now is what about that, that phone call? What about that call that said there was a sewer spill somewhere? So I asked that tech, I'm still driving in. I asked them, please go look at that intersection. We got a report of a sewer spill. Um, cause we got to resolve that as well. He called me back, you know, a couple minutes later, I see nothing. And I said, great, appreciate it. You go back doing what you want to do or go back to your thing. I, he offered to stay. And I said, no, 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 I got it. I'm almost in, I'm almost here. So I arrive into town. I drive all over the place. I could not find a wet manhole. So that happens, everybody. Um, just because somebody called something in does not mean that it's you. It's not mean it's, it's the right street. It does not mean anything. Um, I have fielded so many phone calls about leaks, gushers, um, uh, the street ripping apart and, and co come in and it's like, okay. So to some people that aren't familiar with utility work, an emergency looks a lot different to them than it looks to us. There was one manhole that is in an area in town that has a low, low spot. And there's always drain water there from like the ground. There's groundwater drainage constantly in this area. And there was a manhole and it was about a block away from where this lady called. And it's near a very busy parking lot that every, all the beachgoers go and park at. And it had some wetness from cars driving um, through the drain. There's like a culvert that goes across the street, kind of like a gutter pan line. And people drive. It's always wet there. And the only thing I can think of is there was a coincidental, somebody thought it was a sewer problem. And it actually wasn't. So in the end, I had no sewer spill. I had no sewer spill, which I'm very happy about because it's Saturday and I've got plans with my family. <laughs> but I wanted to shoot a video while it's all fresh in my mind to kind of tell you how some of this goes. At this point, the alarm's cleared. They're aware they've got a problem at their lift station. That's on them. Um, and my plan's gone back to business as usual. Um, there is no spill in the collection system. Thank God, because that's a whole thing. If there was, I would have to you know, be filing paperwork and, and cleaning it up and all that stuff. But like I said, I didn't see anything. Um, if you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe. Tell me about your emergency response stuff. This isn't the only one. I get chemical alarms. I get uh, pump failures. I get all sorts of alarms. And it's just kind of something that comes with the job. And if that's something that excites you or doesn't bother you, I think that this is a great career for you. If you don't like getting phone calls at 2 a.m., this is kind of part of the game. It happens. And uh, it's it's actually can be quite exciting, quite exciting. Um, but uh, in any case, um, you know me, I'm a little bit of an enthusiast for this stuff. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And I hope you got something out of this. Have a great day.